Spider-Man Classics team up, Spider-Man Family. And Caleb. Hello, a day with Caleb, and today is part nine of the comic book collection. We have a few random boxes. Then we have this long box here that is filled with graphic novels. This uh, kind of hints at one of the graphic novels. Uh, so let's dive in and take a look at all the graphic novels. We start with Scooby Doo as seen on the WB. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Then we get into Star Wars, uh, Darth Maul, the Phantom, uh, Episode 1, the Phantom, the Phantom Miss, and then Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Then, uh, Tales of the Jedi, more Star Wars, uh, this is actually a comic box exclusive, both versions. Darth Vader, Dawn of the Jedi, Princess Leia, that's a cool one there, that's neat. That's a cool shot as well, both of those. Then we get into graphic novels. Uh, graphic novels uh, mostly have like a thicker, uh, there's more issues in a graphic novel. It's kind of like three or four issues uh, all in one versus a normal comic book issue which is just one issue. So we have that one. Uh, Han Solo there. More Attack of the Clones. These are cool. I picked these up at the Antique Mall. Uh, just love that image. Uh, the, hitch, the Haunting Hitchhiker. And then uh, Ghost in England, uh, pretty cool because I've been to England. Just a lot of cool imagery and stuff that I really dig, so that's cool. More Richie Rich, uh, Casper, Boris Got Karloff, Tales of Mystery, so that's neat. Astro Boy, Hellblazer. Simpsons comic extravaganza, Ex Machina, or Ex Machina, I wonder if that was, uh, if the movie was based on the series, I bet it was, uh, Darkwing Duck, Chip and Dale, Tailspin, this, uh, is from an episode of Tailspin, and we actually have the little viewfinder uh, of this exact image. So that's cool. Rocky and Bullwinkle. They were <laughs> this dates this comic book. Uh, we have uh, Matt Ryan and Roddy White, uh, Rush Zone. Then we have Johnny Quest. We get into some more graphic novels with the Avengers. Loki. Simpsons, 
Fantastic Four. Then we have some uh, The Fly comic books. Uh, these are cool uh, Archangels. Comet Man, Quasar, these are just kind of some random ones here. Badger. Then uh, we get to Dragon Ball Z comic books. These I got a flea market all together uh, for one low price. Oh, that's cool. Doom Patrol. Johnny uh, Nemo. Uh, I'm going to think of something else. The Keanu Reeves movie. Is that Johnny Nemo or something else? I think that's Johnny M something. So, the one... Uh, Ultraman, Commandi, The Beatles, I mean these are random random ones here. Then uh, these are cool, uh, when we would go to Six Flags sometimes they would make the park map and guide a little comic book. So you would have the map, you would have the guide. This was 2000, so uh, I guess the only one we got was the 2000 one. I need to see if there's any more. But that is super cool to have. It has Six Flags Over Georgia, Bugs Bunny, it has Batman the Ride. Very cool. Then we have these uh, stamp album ones, and then these are comics without a front cover. Early on, I was stupid, very stupid, and took some of the front pages off for artwork. So very dumb on my part. Then we have Knights of the Dinner Table. These are kind of like spoof comics. Got, a, got all these the same time at Goodwill. They were like 20 cents each. So I just said, hey, I'll, I'll take them all then. <laughs> so that's cool. It's kind of like Brother Frankenstein. Brother of Frankenstein. Alright, so that's all those. Then we have the uh, comic book price guide. This is pretty cool if you're kind of wanting to know kind of what your issues are worth or something like that. You use this as reference. These are kind of the mini comics uh, that sometimes get released with Blu-rays. I have most of them uh, with the Blu-rays if it comes with it, but these are kind of some, uh, just some extra ones. And we have Jurassic Park, Strike Force, uh, Mask of Phantasm, Dick Tracy, Batman v Superman. Uh, these actually came in a cereal box. So uh, let's see. Two of four, so I have two, four, four, four. I need one and three. Then uh, we, I went with my buddy Mark and David uh, to Marvel Universe Live. Yes, I'm uh, a big kid at heart. Uh, that was the uh, kind of the what am I looking for? The booklet that explained it. Then it came with this big book, which I do have. Uh, then this is kind of the, uh, what would you call it, the layover print uh, that they would kind of approve before a comic book is printed. So you can see there, there's space for a barcode. Then they would color this in. Then I have this 
one as well. Very cool. Uh, those are kind of rare to have, so cool to have them. Then we have the Amazing Spider-Man Essential Volume 1. The Defenders. Civil War. Batman v Predator, Batman, Batman versus Predator, the collected edition, the Killing Joke, uh, the Death of Robin, the Dark Knight Returns, uh, Frank Miller, Craven's Last Hunt, then uh, let's do this. Then we have. Batman The Long Halloween, uh, one of my favorite graphic novels. Uh, then, as I preluded to earlier, V for Vendetta, Watchmen, and uh, these two were purchased at London. You can see here, three for two. So you got three of these graphic big graphic novels for two pounds which here in the US that's what about seven dollars so not bad for uh, three fully uh, full graphic novels that's very cool Paradise X then uh, Stan Lee this was in the Stan Lee box he did some poems, uh, God Woke, so this is kind of a book of his poems, and then uh, A Day in the Life, uh, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Green Lantern, The Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Sins Past, uh, with Gwen Stacy there, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 1. Then we have the Superior Spider-Man here. Uh, the Zodiac Legacy. Uh, Stanley there at the top. Then we have a bunch of these uh, Marvel Age graphic novels here. Marvel Monsters. Ultimate X-Men. Spider-Man Classics, Team Up, Spider-Man Family, that's a cool one there, Holiday Special, Duck Ock, uh, Mary Jane. Then uh, his book, uh, Amazing, Fantastic, Incredible, A Marvelous Memoir, Stan Lee, so that's cool to have. Then the Rawhead Kid, uh, Hulk, Season 1, The Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Walt Disney Comics, Ex Machina, Teen Titans, My Name is Chaos, Justice Riders, Lobo, Dick Tracy, Pilgrim's Progress, JLA and Wildcats, that's a cool team up. Uh, then you have uh, Marvel vs. DC with JLA Avengers. Very cool. Let's see. Uh, yeah, two, three. So I'm missing one of the issues of uh, one, two, and four. I need three. Then we have X-Men Evolution, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, Ghost Rider, uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Avengers, Marvel Classic Origins, so some origins of these heroes, Spider-Man, Hulk, Captain America. Then we have the New 52 Justice League. Then we have a whole bunch of these uh, Superman graphic novels and of course like I said earlier got from my buddy Seth uh, a dorm mate uh, went to college together so 
this came with all those Superman comics, uh, these graphic novels. Most of these are the New 52. We have some others uh, as well. And we have Batman, uh, The City of Owls. Very cool. Batman and Robin. Batman Dark Knight. Detective Comics. Uh, Joker there. Then we have uh, this... Uh, yeah, this was a gift. Uh, when I studied in the UK, we were there until Christmas. So this was a Christmas gift from my roommate. Very cool. He got this in London at that comic book shop we would go to. So that is very cool. Then we have Batman Dark Knight. Hope you enjoyed this part, uh, part 9 of the comic book collection. Uh, comment down below maybe a favorite graphic novel that I showed or maybe one I didn't show. Then uh, kind of comment if there was an issue that you didn't know about or something. Favorite character maybe from these or something like that. If you're new to the channel, comment down below. Uh, content every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Share with the comic book lover. And until next time, guys, keep going.